Rahman Rahim. Hello class. Today in this video we will finish talking about biology chapter 5 molecular genetics and as we all know that, that inside the nucleus there is something called chromosomes that's carrying our genes and this chromosomes the number of chromosomes inside our cells is 46 as we are talking about the body cell or somatic cell. Now let's talk about this chromosome and what is the structures that's made up of this chromosome. You must know that the chromosome made up of something called genes. And the gene made up of very small structure called nucleic acid. Let's talk about the kind of nucleic acid. As we all know that there's two types of nucleic acid, DNA and RNA. We must remember the whole name of the DNA. It's deoxyribonucleic acid, but the RNA is ribonucleic acid. Here, let's talk about the nucleic acid any kind of nucleic acid, I mean here DNA or RNA is made up of a very very small structure. This block, this is the unit of that nucleic acid, is called nucleotide and this nucleotide I can say it's the smallest unit of the nucleic acid, I can say also it's the block part of the nucleic acid. Now this take here a small revision that the chromosomes made up of nucleic acid, wherever this nucleic acid is DNA or RNA, and later in another video we'll explain the difference between the DNA and RNA, and the last thing that's made up of is a nucleotide. Now let's explain this part. Okay, here this cell that found inside your body, this cell this is the structure of the cell. It's made up of a very small bar. It's important part is the cell membrane. And if you enter inside the cell, there is a very important part it's called nucleus. If we enter inside this nucleus, we can find that this is the chromosome. This is the shape of the chromosome. Now, what is inside or what's made this chromosome? As we say, that's made up of a very long line called nucleic acid, even it's DNA or RNA. Now let's see the shape of the DNA. I'll explain the shape and the parts of the DNA. And these proteins make this DNA going together to form the chromosome. And a part of DNA, if you know what's the part of DNA, excellent, is the gene. Now here let's talk about the DNA and the structure of the DNA. It's your topic. In beige, if you open your book, page 81, this is the DNA. The DNA structure is made up of two lines that coiled around each other. I call these two line helix, what I call it, helix. So the DNA has two helix. In science, I call it double helix. Now, the first thing that you have to know that the DNA that come out from the chromosome made up of two helix. Now, if I want to see the structure of the DNA, these two helix combine with each other with the middle part. And let's see what is this middle part. Now, let's make a close look on the DNA. What made the DNA or the nucleic acid, the smallest part, as we say, that made the DNA or the nucleic acid is called, good job, it's called nucleo. Tide. This is the nucleotide. This is the block unit that made whole the DNA. This nucleotide made up of three parts, symbol three parts, that we can made it in the lab. That's why we can change the gene if they ask how we can change the gene. We can change it by changing the nucleotide. Let's see what is the nucleotide made up of. The first thing that made the nucleotide is this part called deoxyribose sugar. That's why we call it DNA. D means deoxyribose. The name of the sugar is called deoxyribose. What is the second part that formed the nucleotide is phosphate group. So deoxyribose sugar, phosphate group, number three is called nitrogenous base. So these three parts is forming the nucleotide. First nucleotide, the second nucleotide, third nucleotide, and move over, this form the DNA. Now let's see. As you can see, the helix, if this, this is the first helix and this is the second helix. What's the structure that made the helix? 
As you can see here, it's made up of just duxoid ribose sugar, phosphate, duxoid ribose sugar, phosphate. This is the, the structure of the helix, and it's not, you cannot change it. It's a basic part. So how we have different kind of characters? We have different kind of characters because we have different types of what? If we have basic phosphate and sugar, what's the third one that we can change it? Yes, good job, is the nucleo nitrogenous bases. We have four nitro different nitrogenous bases. If we change them, we can change the kind of gene, the kind of the characters that we have. The first nitrogenous base is called thymine. We can instead write T. Number, one, number two is adenine. We can write A. Guanine, we can write G. And cytosine, we can write C. So if they ask you what are the four types of nitrogenous base, you will write T, A, G, C. Things that you have to know, as you can see here, always T connected with A, always C connected with G. If we have in this helix, this phosphate connect with T, in the other helix, we must have what? C, no, G, no. We have a, good job. So this is the thing that you have to know. The second thing that you have to know is the points, the hydrogenous bound between these two nitrogenous bases and between T and A, we have just two hydrogen bound connect them. Between C and G, we have three hydrogen bounds. So these are the informations that you must know about the nucleotide. Again, nucleotide made up of sugar, Phosphate, nitrogenous base, we have four kinds of nitrogenous base, T, A, C, G. thing that you must know is how the DNA get built. The DNA get built is, as you can see here, 5N, 3N. We start with 5N, that means this helix starts to form from up to down. And the other helix starts to build from down to up. In other case, we start to put this first block these three blocks together nucleotide, then the second one, then the third one, then the fourth one. We are building a helix from up to down. And on the other side, how we can build the helix from up to down? Phosphate, sugar, nitrogenous base, phosphate, sugar, nitrogenous base, going down. Now let's see things that's now all of this. Now this is the DNA. The second topic that you must know is something called replication. Something called replication in page 82. How the cell do replication and what is the meaning of replication first? Replications mean double the number of chromosomes and we all know that the number of chromosomes is 46. How the cell can double this number to form 92 and why this do in any kind of action? Does the cell need to do it? Need to do something called replication. Now how the cell do replication? In a simple steps, after you read the page 82, just look at the video here. Now that we have here the DNA, now this DNA need to replicate, increase its number. What's the first step? As you can see, the DNA must spray it away from each other. This is the first step. Now this is called the parent strand or template strand. The second step, the strand start to build the new helix for each one, from up to down, and the other one from down to up. After it get built, how many number of chromosomes now we have? two identical type of chromosomes. To make it in very small details, what kind of enzymes help to do DNA replication? First step, now all of these lines DNA, from where it can start to form replication? They say that, or they discover that, you know, any part that start to replicate from or spray the helix, I call it origin of replication. Now start here, there is origin of replication here, here, wherever. I need to separate all the DNA. So, so I call it origin of replication. Here the question, from which started the replication? You will write from the origin of replication. Now, origin of replication start to spray the double helix away from each other. Now start to spray it away as you can see now. 
you don't have to know this the end of this each application called fork now let's talk about the enzymes that start to build a new helix as you can see here a new helix start to build here a new helix start to build there and the end we have two types or two identical DNA the first enzyme you must study is the enzyme that separate the DNA away from each other this is the first enzyme that you must know the second enzyme is this enzyme that build new helix by adding nucleotide this is called nucleotide what they call this enzyme helicase so the first thing that you have to know is helicase separate the two strand of DNA away from each other and the second enzyme you must know is the enzymes that add nucleotide I call it DNA polymerase so these two enzymes helping to replicate the DNA if they ask you the first one is called helicase braid the double helix the second enzyme called DNA polymerase adding a new nucleotide to build new helix here building from up to down and this one from down to up and this is called DNA replication in the end what is the result uh, after all of the steps happened the result is double double DNA